Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Moff Jajerod from Return of the Jedi and as you can see he looks very very good on his 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi card back very similar to what they did with Admiral Piet and in fact if you're a carded collector I would imagine that these two card backs the Moff Jajerod and the Admiral Piet will look very very good on the wall if that is how you display them. Let's have a closer look at the card back before we open the figure and take a look. So there he is, Moff Jajerod. And it's a really good image. It's a little bit grainy, so that's kind of like the vintage Kenner feel. And there's the figure in the bubble there. He has the blue name pill with the blue panel behind the figure. The Admiral Piet had red, I believe. Um, there's the back of the card. He is VC 284 in the line. There's the other figures from the wave. I've already reviewed Cad Bane, so if you haven't checked out that video, please do, it's on the channel. Might maybe watch that one after this video. I still need to review the Boba Fett Tuscan and Neen Num figures, um, and I understand there are some differences with this one compared to the version that came with that Slave One from the Book of Boba Fett. There's the import sticker. I got these from In Demand Toys in the UK. They sometimes get import stock. And yeah, it's a decent enough image and it's another Imperial officer, which I'm all for. I love the Imperial officers. It's good that we're starting to get these named ones in the vintage collection now, now that they've got that body. And pretty much this figure is an exact replica of the Admiral Piet figure with a different head. I'm pretty sure about that, but we will compare them once I open it. All right, so there's the Kenner logo at the bottom, Return of the Jedi. Let's just open it up. All right then, so here he is out of the packaging. And as I mentioned, you know, we now have this Imperial officer sculpt, but there is a slight difference between Moff Jajerod and Admiral Piet. And it is not the rank badge because in Return of the Jedi, they all had the same rank badges. But can any of you eagle eyes out there tell me what the difference is between those two? I will tell you this one, the Moff Jajerod has two of the cylinders on his jacket. He has the one in that little pocket there and one there, whereas Admiral Piet only has the one there and not one in that side, which is great because that is accurate to the source material. And the great thing about that is that we do have slightly different versions of the Imperial officer, depending on who they are, which is great. So let's take a really good close up look at the Moff Jajerod and take a look at that head sculpt. All right then, so there is a close-up look at Moff Jajerod. Now, I remember when this figure was announced and also when I saw it at the uh, celebration in the cabinet, I felt that it was quite difficult to work out whether it actually looked like the actor or not. And I think the problem is, is that the actor's just got a quite an ordinary face, if that makes sense. He doesn't really have many sort of defining features. Whereas with Admiral Piet, he had those sort of... Um, bug-like eyes if you like. Um, Moff Jajerod or the actor that plays him doesn't seem to have that. What I would say is that the actor does have more of a, a rounded face than, than this guy but I think they've done a pretty good job with it. I think my point is really is that if you were to just give this figure to somebody and they didn't know who it was and just said which officer is that out of Star Wars I don't think that they would necessarily pick Moff Jajerod. I, you know, I don't think it's that accurate enough but as I say um, it's good to have a, another Imperial officer and also uh, we do have other figures from the scenes that this character is involved in. We have the Emperor's Royal Guards, we have the Emperor, uh, we have a Vader now. Um, so we have some of the troopers that are lined up there. So I think, you know, it was a good time to bring this figure out considering that they'd already done Admiral Piet. It does have the ever so slightly oversized cap, which I know a lot of people don't like. It doesn't actually bother me too much. You know, from certain angles, it looks bigger than it should, but from other angles, it doesn't actually look too bad. I mean, from there, for example, I don't think that actually looks too bad. I think that looks pretty good. Of course, would I prefer the cap not to come off? Probably if it was more in scale, but it doesn't bother me that much. In terms of articulation, the figure has everything that an officer doesn't really need, but he does have it anyway. So he even has those new style hips that everybody loves. He even has a split at the thigh and things like that. You know, this is not a Jedi or a trooper. This is an Imperial officer. Most of them are quite old men. Um, so they don't really need the articulation, but I'm still glad that they have them. 
After all, you are probably going to want some of these officers to sit down at briefing rooms and things like that. So in the future, if they ever do decide to bring out the briefing room officers, you know that you're going to be able to get them to sit down on some chairs, which is great. So there's another quick look at him. He doesn't look too happy there, does he? Um, maybe he's a bit worried that the Emperor's coming aboard. But anyway, uh, nice paintwork on the buckle there. And you've got the rank badge there, which, I, as I mentioned, is incorrect to the source material. Um, he has the same rank badge as Admiral Piet, and that isn't even correct either. Um, certainly not for a moth. And there's the back of the figure there. I've just got his hands behind his back. And it's all nicely sculpted in on those trousers and everything. And you've got his shiny boots. So awesome figure. Nice one for the wave. Nice one to release in the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Apart from that, I don't really have too much else to say about the figure. Because essentially it's pretty much identical to Piet. Which we've gone through in depth in a previous video. So with all that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit the little bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members, as always. And we shall see you on the next one.